Hi it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just doing some lettering with you. Okay I'm doing this because somebody requested I could I add some lettering to my Kofi page and I thought well I can't I've, I've got pages and pages of stuff not finished. So here's a full page this is actually finished. Let's put right on 70. Right now you can see everything on the desk okay. Uh, so this is basically the whole sheet. So I'll show you show a bit about lettering here. I've got a grid here and I am using a grid, but it's not, I'm not able to rub it out because uh, it's uh, permanent. Yeah, it was pencil, but I copied it because I thought, well, I'm not keep bothering to do it anyway. Keep bothering to fill it, uh, to do some pencil lines. <laughs> so I've left them on. And it is quite a useful thing actually so i do hope you'll join me today and i'll show you some give you some tips on how to do everything and also put this on kofi too please give me a thumbs up that'd be absolutely amazing if you can do that for me and thanks to all my subscribers new and if you've been with me a while or forever okay thank you so much and let's go i've got some ideas for some uh, words for you okay so if you want to do these yourself i would suggest doing a grid because unless you're totally accomplished at doing letters okay because a grid's amazing okay can you see how the how the way i've written pride there using a grid what i'm going to do is do them big and i'm going to reduce them and put them like four to a page because somebody asked me to do um words for you and I thought, oh, I haven't done that yet. Come on, <laughs> we need to get that done. So I'm going to do that for you. And you can do, I mean, you can if you can do um, other styles of writing as well, that would be amazing. But let me just show you how to do this. Right, so I've got grids here. And these aren't pencil grids. These are actually copied pencil grids. So they're quite uh, f faint. They're quite faint. They're not... Um, coming up as they won't if you if i reduce that you wouldn't probably see it and you could it doesn't matter anyway if you do very unlikely i would say so let's write another word now so okay so i've done pride i've done pride in a certain way let me show you how to do pride because we're gonna have two lots of pride so these would be for fussy cutting okay so i'm gonna do it let's do it a bit further down just in case we make a, a border okay so against this can we see let's go down let's go down so we're on two because and i'm going to keep my hands out your way i was going to actually i was thinking about moving the right so hopefully you'll be able to see this oh dear should i try and if i can put it like that i'm not very good at doing it straight but um okay so i'm going to start with the line down the edge of that square there can you see that okay and I'm going to make that a nice thick line this is, this is I'm doing it in that style there and then you come around and do draw your letter P I'm doing it quite square purposefully and then I'm going to move on a little bit from the next one because that's that's like a capital letter and it isn't <laughs> That's what I'm doing. You can do it what style you like. You don't have to copy me, obviously. Perhaps you want just the word ideas. Okay, and I think pride's a good one. Okay, but you got to. I think you've got to be mindful of what uh, somebody might be like who's receiving a journal with uh, motivational words. That's all. Right, this one can. Actually, I can put that one against that. Because the eye has left a nice gap there. Yeah. So it's basically a stick, and then we go quite square lettering, and I'm going to do that. Okay, well, it doesn't look like an O because I've got that square there. Okay, if you're done it, doing an O, then you would come round and do the same as that. Okay, and then I can leave a little gap. And I do that there and I just fill that in. And then for these I put a little thingy there a lot. 
and then you can come along and when you've got these reduced they will not put them tidy honestly they will look really i'm sorry i've got to do this <laughs> i've got to do it like this right so i'm going to just go like and a parallel line and it doesn't matter this is a, a, a marker pen if you want to do it in pencil first of course you can and then um color them in that might be better i mean you can do them even in biro if you like and color them in you could you know because i've done that before probably some of the, i don't know if some of the ones i've got are in biro biro um ballpoint pen not everybody says biro do they if i say biro i mean ballpoint pen okay <laughs> Byro's the person who invented a, t a style of pen. Yeah, so somebody Byro. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> amazing. So you can do anything you like. You can do, I'm doing, perhaps I could do different things. So I've done that like that. And you could um, do some like doodly things like this. Put some squares in or something like this to make it look striped or something. Okay, the dog's getting excited. Did you hear his bell? It's because the lorry goes past. It's not. It's nobody there, dog. We're waiting for my son to come home so we can go for a walk because he likes to go with us. Okay. Okay, that's that. And you can. So I've now got a um, a white Uniposca pen. That is just a normal. Don't we wait, Smith? <laughs> Just a normal um, marker from a shop, permanent marker. I not, not doesn't say what size nib it is, but it's say uh, just a bullet tip. Okay. Um, so if you're in the UK, go to the <laughs> Smith. Right. So I can I can put things like dots on here, just to give it a bit of a doodly look. Okay, in fact, you could colour that all in black and put this. This Uniposca will go over it. It's quite opaque. Especially if it works properly, it is. Yeah, that looks like now I've taken time to actually make a circle. <laughs> yeah, right. And then um, I was going to change, slightly change that. But it doesn't really matter. Just to put a little. And you can do that as well. You can put serifs. These are called serifs. You can put that. So if you see like a font when it says sans serif, it means it hasn't got those. Okay. Because I've got that on there. Okay. So you know a bit about fonts because we went to college. <laughs> right, there's your uh, graphic design at, um, at one stage. So little dots going down like that. I know a bit about we had to actually draw the lettering out um, ourselves because we didn't have there wasn't uh, computers to do them oh actually they were just coming in because i did my course i was an adult uh and there's like a couple of us who i think it's one person older than me and the computers were just coming in but i didn't want to do the computer so i sort of like said no there we go <laughs> So that would that would do, that would be brilliant for one. You can imagine that reduced. I'm hoping to. I will try and reduce it later. I can show you what I've done as well. And all my things always buzzing, isn't it? Dad jokes. You can't see all of it. So what's the point? So let's have um, let's have we'll have plenty. I think plenty is nice. I like things like that. I like pride. Um, I do usually I do pride like this if you want to sh if you want to have a go at this this is how I usually do pride I'm using I'm not using the grid now I'm using just the, the top and the bottom lines okay so I'm just gonna do I used to pride I usually do a square one like that perhaps with a serif on it don't actually I didn't actually do it on that one and then I'll do joined up writing very slowly like that okay and then i would put a for the um eye dot i might put a heart like that i've done pride haven't i that perhaps i perhaps meant something else <laughs> and then you can go around it with oh and if you've got untidy um if you can't really can't be neat 
I would separate the letters, even if you're trying to do joined up style. I'm going to have a go at that in a minute. I like that. I like the joined up. Uh, so I've done that fairly neat, as in, uh, what do you call the style? It's sort of like, um, oh, I can't remember what they call it now. I, I did, uh, I've also looked at graphology <laughs> and they called this a certain style. It's, um, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, so you can do things like that. And what I would do then is something like this. Little um, things here. So anything crazy like this. If you're good at doodling already, you'll probably have a better idea. And another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a, a ballpoint pen out. And it said boil point, boil point, boil point pen, whatever, whatever that is. And I'm going to have a go, right, as this a, this is an ink joy and it's not 0.5, I'm just going to have a scribble there so I can make sure it works. And you can do things like, um, oh, I've got hearts all over that one, and I'm going to do little circles because I've already got a heart for the little circles everywhere. That should show up, I mean it's going to be quite thin um, when I reduce it. And then I'm going to attempt. Oh no, There's, it's, nobody's here, dog. It's okay. Alex isn't coming in a car. Right. Um, yeah, so I, um, I'm going to reduce it. And when you reduce it, I'm going to attempt to do it again because I'm doing these in black and white. You can also do it on coloured paper as well. So if you've got some watercolours, you can do it onto coloured paper or you can print them onto coloured paper. If you fancy that as well. I might what I have to what what I would have to do if I was doing this, look, I can make that a little bit bigger using that. If I wanted to do that, also you can correct little bits as well. So if you wanted that heart a bit more open like that. Yeah. You could, uh, what was I going to say? You could, um, oh, I can't remember. Wasn't it? I'll put it on the screen if I if I remember. If I if, when I when I edit it, I'll put it on the screen. Okay, let's put another one now. Okay, so you can right. I was going to show you how to. Um, so if you're doing, if you've got, um, you think you've got untidy handwriting, just do your. So you can do it like this, separately like that. Separate them. Now oh, I've been back too close to that really, haven't I? <laughs> like that, say. So you can do what you like. Anything like that. Um, so, uh, what have I done here? I've gone. So I could do something crazy like this. I didn't do this on the other one. Yeah, I'll put them on Kofi these if you want. And um, you can have a look at them and you can have a go yourself if you want to or just use mine. I don't mind. Also, you can get them for free as well, which is brilliant. Okay, so, yeah, how about that? Yeah, I do prefer, I would prefer to be a subscriber though, if that's okay. I mean, subscribers don't pay anything. It's not, that's not what you pay. If you, if you join a, a uh, YouTube channel then you, I think you paid them but mine is look I'm getting really close to that mine is um, currently I haven't got a join button I don't think so, oh dear look at that see I can correct that with my white hopefully because that's not and that's why there you go so now I can come along with this shake it because it's that sort of thing and then you go like that, like that okay and then you can if you want to you can do that right i'm going to do some little circles on here okay i should have actually on the on the other one i've got like a um a sharper one really so i could make that i could actually try and make that into a bit of a sharper <laughs> using that like that Yeah, I'm going to do some circly things. Okay, when I, wherever it fits. Okay. Yeah. 
so I can't rub the lines up because I will I can't be bothered to keep drawing out grids if you've got the patience to draw out grids you go for it because I can't do it. oh I'll take show you, let me do another let me show you another style of writing that I really like I've put empower there and I like that what I've done is it's a bit it's a bit like this but it's more so like the old-fashioned style Right, so I will do that. I'll thicken that up a little bit and do this. That's E. Yeah, you have to be careful. You know when you when you're concentrating on um, writing things like this, do make sure you get all the letters in. I do remember somebody from college. I used to I used to annoy him so much because <laughs> he would always he was absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing, really really amazing graphic designer he was. But he could not spell. <laughs> oh, I felt so, you know, and I'll say to him, look, you've, you've, you've missed this letter out or something, or you, you spelt that wrong. And he would, oh, no, why did you tell me? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it was, uh, but I thought, well, I better tell him because <laughs> it was amazing. Right, so I'm doing like this. So I'm doing like, it's um, thin there and thick there, but I'm doing it more round than the other one than the first one I did. So when I do the O, I think it's only, and I'm going to have to, um, oh, actually the W might take up, up up a lot, you know. So I'm going to do the W because the W would take all that from there because I'm going to go across that line there. I've got, and I'm going to, so you would go like this for the W. The W is like an old fashioned style one like that. Sometimes they put a thing across, didn't they? But I didn't on my uh, the one I've got them over there. So, so you can leave that. Or you can put a bar across there, or leave it like that. Leaving mine, let's just put a little tiny serif on top. I don't know if that works. <laughs> anyway, um, hope I hope you can still see. Right, so there's your. Yeah, that's quite good, isn't it? Quite pleased with that. Your O's crossed bit smaller and that's a bit longer Ooh. there's your e again and then the r oh, let's just thicken that up a little bit and then the r is um a little bit thick there and then you come around it's not much different to that one actually is it but i mind <laughs> so i'm not gonna but i do put a bit of a rounded thing on it there i'm not sure what's what style that would be that's my own style I, i've actually written stories out um using this then so i've got in power there okay i could um do little marks down there yeah if you got more of a thinner pen you could do little embellishes embellishments rather not embellishes yeah there we go so basically faux sewing down it yeah uh -uh. yeah there's noisy lorries outside but my window shut so hard you won't be able to make noise that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so things like that. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. And obviously you don't have to do double lines. You can do what you like. You <laughs> just about everyone's a double line, isn't it? Um, you can leave it as it is. You can just cut that out as it is. I mean, this, these will be a lot smaller than what they are on here. Okay, but I did a massive. I can even make them even smaller so I could do six to a page or eight to a page or something. Because I did something the other day, I put, I've sent it off now, but I did some in a um, um, journal, a folio the other day, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, let's think of some other things we could write. It creates good, all writes good, isn't it? 
in fact, I put, I saw in my journal the other day, I put in my own, in your own words, in a little folio, I think, in your own words, on the page as well. <laughs> it's just like a little prompt. Um, so I could put plenty, plenty like that as well. So I'm going to just use the above and lines just to use that. So I'm going to try and ignore. So something like that. So that's like leaving loops. I mean, you can correct anything with your white pen. All I did under that was this. Oh, look. There's little marks there. And I'm, I just did a box around it. So I'm not even double lined like I've been doing. There we go. And then I could put little dots if I want, I suppose, but it might be quite small. Um, so I'm going to put now uh, create. That's a good one, isn't it? Let's make it smaller. Right, so for C, that looks like a bit like a G, but for C, sometimes they have a little thing there that makes it look less like a G. <laughs> Actually, I could have corrected with my pen can't I I'll put that there like that that's corrected that okay um, so I'm just going to put that in small writing yeah I did a little hook there because it looks nice <laughs> okay and that I can put make the a a e a little more yeah, oh, I've done two styles of either, but it doesn't matter if you do. But there we go. So I'm going to put a little thing there like that. Yeah. So that gives it a, a bit extra, doesn't it? And then what have we done for that? Oh, yeah, I've done quite a bit of stuff on that one. I've gone, I've gone like this. So when you fussy cut that one out, it's going to be a bit of a... Curvy on, isn't it? I don't have to do this. You can come around with a straight line if you want. <laughs> yeah, so anything crazy like this. Yeah, whoops, hold on. I think it came a bit out too far then. Right, and then for this one, I've gone, I've put dots around the edge in black. dots on here um, oh, a very 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 important one I think is the Patient. So I'm going to write this in capitals, I'm going to write it smaller. Just make that a bit more thick. Yeah, I'm going to do the service on that. Decided to have serif, serifs. Oh, I was actually got a double line on that. Yeah, patience. That's a bit small look compared with that E, so I'm going to go there. Yeah, you can have it as big or small as you like, but I'm going to just adjust mine <laughs> um, a little bit. I mean, it's a bit. I don't want it to taper off at the end, that's all. Uh, that'll do, won't it? I mean, it's a bit different, isn't it? Let's go down there. Yeah, you won't see this because it's going to be um, copied. Yeah. 
I mean, you can do straight. You can do these straight on, can't you? Straight on to your um, to this, and then cut them out as well. I mean, you could easily use those. What I would do if I've done that is <laughs> is perhaps white out these lines a bit. Yeah, it's a good idea actually, especially if you think they might show. They're quite a bit. Mine are quite thin. Uniposcas are brilliant, white ones. Yeah, so you could do things like that. Ah, yeah, little doodly thing, doodly words. I'm going to try and get a thinner. Oh, I've got a really thick pan. I want a thinner one. These are good as well. These uh, Uniball Eye. Um... So patient. That seems quite a straight word, doesn't it? Or might have been colouring in with this one. Look at that. It's very, um, it's very reluctant to write that way. Let's see if I can find another one. Let's try this one. See if it's probably worse. Yeah, they say the. Th the uh, marker pen's quite hard to control, really. But I wanted to show you so you could see it because you can't, you need to see it, don't you? When you cut outline as well, wait a minute, I'm going to have a go at that. Outlining. Here's this, Alex. It might be. No. Right. I'm going to outline. Let's put uh, this joy, mindful uh, outline. Oh dear. Well, um, actually, yeah. Let me show you in pencil because obviously I, I would I would normally just be able to do this, but. You've got pencil. I would say if you're going to put a word, you can write it in pencil. Oh, that's a bit thingy, isn't it? Oh, I've got some. Do you know what? I've got some new erasers, aren't I lucky? I've got absolutely loads. So I bought some the other day because I didn't have any. Right. So what you could do then is pad it out. All you've got to do then is pad that out. Like that. So just make a bigger circle around the little circle, yeah, thing like this. Mm hmm Yep, and then just um, just enhance that. Try and get it about the same level, I suppose, yeah, like that. Joy. My joy has um, lots of little circles on it, but okay, and lines actually. So I'm gonna um, I think I've left it. I think I've done a sort of like a little thing around it like this. And then I've come along with some lines. I'm not trying to try it with a thick one. Let's have a look. So we're doing some lines here. I suppose what I could have done is Perhaps, I don't know if that would work. Maybe have another go, right? I'm going to write the word joy a minute just quickly. Okay, make it thicker. Joy. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a border. And then 
Put some lines across it. But it won't work now. It's been much quicker. Leave that like that. And then come along with your uni posca. Yeah, that works well, doesn't it? Yeah. In fact, let's go around it again. So that's quicker. <laughs> go around it again like this. Let's see if I can do a parallel line. If not, obviously I can come along with the Uniposca. And just widen up bits like there's that one there that's not very helpful is it yeah there you go and perhaps that one I don't know what my daughter's talking about there. She's obviously answering somebody else in the family. Right, there we go. And what you could do, I suppose, if you like, is do a few little dotty things. Perhaps only to the, perhaps do three. Yay. <laughs> How about that? That looks good, doesn't it? So any of these words you could is interchangeable, so you don't have to do plenty like that. You could do joy like that, etc. Right, and you could also put now the shine. Shine's good, I've got shine. Uh, try, try that. Let's try this, okay. I just saw, right, so this is how I normally do it. Okay, this is how I would do it like that. And this takes practice. Oops, hold on a minute. I think I've done that a bit shorter, haven't I? See, I can go along with the Uniposca, don't worry about that. Uh, should we leave that as white? Or there's lots of circles in it. Oh dear, I'm knocking my glasses on the, on the uh, thing that holds the camera. Right. So things like this, yeah. So you could come to that stage with something like doing it like that. Using pencil. Try. Yeah, try is similar to Joy actually, it's got lots of lines on it. I don't have to do these boxes. You could actually cut them. Yeah, you could um, perhaps come along with them um, and do parallel lines with your scissors. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. So it might look like it's on the page then. Mind you, I think these, these little boxes look good. And stuff. Right, I'm going to colour it in and I'm going to put white lines. So what I'm going to do is colour it in like this. And then I'm going to do white lines. There we go. <laughs> That's not too bad. I can see, I can see lines now, can't I? 
Yeah, it's a bit, um, I don't know, a bit big, is it? I don't know. Oh, it might be, it might not be when we get the, um, when we get the thing on. Maybe turn that up a bit bigger. Like that. Go around it a bit and instead of the white lines, we've got a, to the black lines, we've got a white line, I mean. We'll try that one. <laughs> right, yeah. I do like that joy actually better than that one, although I don't know what it it might look okay when I've reduced it. Right, okay, so where are we going now? Um dream's nice. Dream dream is nice. I'm gonna put a nice slant in. With that one, I've got a weird thing, but I don't want if I want that one exactly. Um, should we try just going around the parallel lines like that? If you can't, if you're really not neat, uh, right, can't write neat, um, and there's no reason for it, <laughs> then you just, I would just practice. Yeah, you can actually. I've got the list. I have done cut. God, a good job I did that on the thing. I'm not sure if I showed you that joy in that because that's right down there, isn't it? Well, if I didn't show you the joy, I can always show you again. So. Right, in case I didn't show you that, let me do it. Right, so I'm doing it with the edge of my pen. So, if I didn't show you that, I've shown you that. Okay, that one, hopefully I did. That one's a bit less, in, well, I don't know, it's not a bit less. I suppose you could do it like that as well if you wanted. Yeah, colour them in. Yeah, joy. I like that style. I want to do it this way. <laughs> um, let's have a look what we could do. How about create like that? That'd be nice. So, I'm going to do create like that. So, I'm using my, the edge of my pen. You could do it with pencil, obviously. You can and colour it in like this let's do a fancy A so you could do one of those A's sometimes they're not fancy A's are they? people do them, my brothers do both of them do those A's <laughs> yeah Let's do a thicker line. I can go around it. Oh, we're getting into the tri, but never mind. I have to be careful. Uh, right, okay, so that's... And then I'm going to put some lines across, aren't I, like this. Creating a look, a certain look. And I'm going to go around it with my... Unipasca. OK, 
can do fronts. Mar Marcella did show me a while ago. There's a place I can't f I can't get it. I don't know if it's because I'm in the UK, but I can't seem to get it very well. It's a place um, where you get a load of different fonts. I cannot get it in this country. I can't. I don't. I, well, I don't think it's anything to do with this country, but I can't get it. Okay. Um, but anyway, there's different ideas for fonts on computers and that as well. I've got some on Word as well. Um, all the words I've got here are things like chance and um, reach. I've got reach down the thing like this. That's going to encroach on that one, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'll just leave dreams like that and I'll put a thing around reach. Oy, so you have, to, you have to be careful there. Okay, reach. <laughs> and flourish is a good word, I think, as well. I do flourish. Oh, flourish has got stripes on it. So what I've done is done an open letter. You could do this with pencil, obviously. You could do... Oh, I'm going round a corner there, yeah, round. Oh, I'm, I'm shaping my letters like this. And let's use this as the bottom. Yeah, so you could pad that out. If you can't do that yourself, oh wait, oh no, I've shown you, I'm showing you. <laughs> there we go. So you could pad that out with a pencil. Uh, well, you could do a lack of pencil and then pad it out. Draw around the pencil line, couldn't you? Try that, and then um, something like that. Now, what I did was that with this was the stripes. Now the stripes would go. Let's cross like this. Okay, and you could sort of like do them like that as well if you like. Yeah, so we can use a ruler, yeah. So if you we can't work it out, you could use a ruler to do them, I suppose. sort of thing right I've nearly finished the page but I'm, I'm just trying to do them um, so we finish the page there's also mindful what did I do for my oh what did I oh yeah let's do let's have a quick go at that and then we're finished right so you can do the pencil thing again if you like with a capital M This is a great way of doing it, but you might find it a bit a bit easier if you've got capital letters. Really, let me get you, what you do is um, for every time you every right facing uh, thing you put a like that, and then every time it's on the it's on the bottom as well, you put one underneath. So any anything like that. So the bottom and anything right facing. Yeah, it might be a bit easier on capitals. So it works really well. Just remember that the light, the, the light's coming actually even this way. But the shadows are all this side, sort of that way. Yeah, it works well, doesn't it? And you can do it like round it. Um, 
I always do some sort of a, let's do a cloud thing. I haven't done that on the actual one, it's a bit, bit uh, not keen on them. <laughs> there we go, and then you can do a smooth bit if you like. Yeah, anything like this, crazy. Yeah, I'll do these later when I've uh, a bit later on. I'll do these, okay? Because I've obviously I'll be busy from now after <laughs> until a bit later, and I'll do the. Um, hopefully, I mean, I'm assuming my printer's going to work and everything. If not, I'm if stuck with these. But <laughs> there we go. But I'll let you know what happens. Okay, I've done mine for the middle of time. I wish you can do anything around the edge. I mean, basically, I'm just doing dots and lines and, yeah, that's all I'm doing. So that's going to be about a one and a half hour video. <laughs> no, hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be less than an hour, at least. Okay, so... I'll yeah, I think I've tried three times there, but hey. Um, I'm going to perhaps do a couple more um, just to fill in. If you can think of any words that you would like. Oh, I'm not showing you again. But... Yeah, I'll that's a trouble. Right, so then I can put pattern down here. Right, that'll do, won't <laughs> So I will. I might finish off a few more. I might be able to put a couple there. Any little things there. So this will be as small as I can, because it's like it looks cute. I mean, you, I can make them two sizes, I suppose. I could do a four size and an eight size or something, or whatever, whatever it comes up as. Okay. I'll try and get rid of those lines, some of the lines as well, like in patience, you might be able to see that one. So, so these are the reduced ones I did, okay, they can still see some of the squares, but I don't, I think that makes probably, it's fine. I'll still, I'd definitely still use them. You know, it's got little square things in them, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't look like anything really. And then, uh, this took me, oh, that's the, uh, I'm going to put that one on, oh dear. Oh yeah, I can do, yeah, I've got the extra ones. Oh no, I love that, I still have that line behind it, won't I? I've got a, an annoying line behind it, so I'd have to uh, adjust that idea. Yeah, I've, still, I've got on this one, this one took me hours, and I'm, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> but I still might put it on, is it this one? Yeah, this is because I've put paper behind it. That's why I've got them. It looks like a hair, but it isn't. It's paper. I thought, oh, have I got hair on there? Have I got hair on my... It's not. Right, okay. And that looks really photocopied. So 
but um, I'd still use it myself. Um, I don't know. Some of them look okay. Oh dear, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Some of them do look okay. I have changed some of these. Um, let's see, have I got these? Is that the original? No, that's not the original. That's the one I've... But I've changed some to the um, to some more I did from the original. Let's see if I can see it. Hold on. Uh, this is... Yeah, because yeah, these weren't very clear. They're really nice, really, really nice small, especially things like this. But uh, so I'm gonna try. What I'm gonna try and do. Perhaps is, yeah. What I could do actually is uh, that's the is that the original? No, I don't think it is. Actually, I think it's a copy. It's a copy. It's still a copy, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't have that one because it's too close to the edge. I've got M power instead of that strength because it doesn't look show up and I've got instead of flourish I've got energy. Um and instead of now because it looked really it looks really weird small what I've put in the spire. Yeah. That looks okay. Yeah, they look they're okay. It's just I'm a bit disappointed because they do look a bit like um, photocopies, but I'll have a, yeah, you can let me know how, what you think. I mean, I can, you can still use them. Let's have a look, see if I can uh, just cut one out. I'll cut one of our new ones out. Let's have this pride. I mean, they're not straight either. I don't think that matters at all. It doesn't that does not matter to me? I mean, there's um, some videos I've been where I've been using my words, and they look absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so pleased with them, and they're not straight. You know what I mean? Not square on like that, which I think is um, got some tiny. It, re it looks really nice actually. Let's find one of the cards. I've got some cards. That's not a card. Let's see. Oh, this one. Yeah, look. You put that there. That one. Oh, you can see it close up. Let's put it on two so we can so it don't go out of focus. Yay! Looks cute, doesn't it? So you could put that there. That's quite a cute one, isn't it? Let's put it on there. Let's stick it on. Put it on there. I'll use this glue as it's handy. I was using my glue over there. Yeah, let's put this on. You're dead, you my stomach. <laughs> Shut up, stomach. Alright. There. So that's cute, isn't it? So that's <laughs> going again. Sounds like sounds like the dog <laughs> growling. That's what I said once, I didn't know if it was a dog growling or my stomach. Or growling in sleep, I went, of course, or snoring. Yeah, so that's that. Okay, so that's handwritten stuff. I mean, if you want to have a go yourself instead, as I showed you, it's so easy to do. I will try and put the photo, these copies up onto the uh, Kofi. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely going to put... Um, Probably something like that on if I can as well. But this what this is ready to go, so I might do that first. Yeah, that's because some a lady I can't remember it was now. I can't it was she on the, I can't she on the group or she was on the um just ask me in the comments. Definitely, definitely ask me. You're gonna do put your words up or something. I said, yep, yeah, I will. Yep, yeah, and I remember that. And I, I mean, sometimes I do forget, but I've got quite a good memory. Oh, my son, son won a game early and he's shouting, so I'm glad he wasn't on. He's going, yes, yes, I won. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Let's get, I think he's playing with his two of his sisters. Yeah. There we go. So there's uh, that idea. Oh, there's some. Little, I've got these cards as well. So I've got something like that on there. Let's 
so that's got a bit of a background on it so I don't know what that looks like to you energy well whatever you know you've got other things you get in power there obviously that's got not cut out that looks quite actually that I like the looks of that one I think this is the one I was actually was it the one I was looking at I did the one I did on video I can't remember oh it's the one I was looking at yeah because it's got the colours on it yeah and this is the one I was doing copying the style this is like a typewriter effect yeah that looks nice doesn't it empower so when I cut those out of it when I do these cards because they are complete they've got backing I can um I don't know what that. E. so there we go thank you so much for watching everybody I think I've already said my bit haven't I oh if not I'm going to um in I might insert this okay and uh, I know it's going to make about the video is going to be about two hours long <laughs> I've got to edit about two hours <laughs> uh two hours something like that yeah so I will say, you know, okay, let's move on to the next bit. And thank you so much for watching.